Okay, volumes by cross sections. Uh, they can be a little confusing because of the fact that the base is in the XY plane, but then all of the cross sections have their height kind of uh, along Z, um, so you can't really see it. Um, so there's one kind of a rectangular prism, um, and then you can draw a bunch of others. So we got this and this. And usually the height and the base have some relationship, uh, which I haven't done a good job of drawing, but, you know, what are you going to do? Um, so if we take a look at just the um, that first big one, um, you can see this right here is actually a slice along the x-axis. Um, so that's our dx. Uh, this, which uh, is kind of the longer edge, is actually um, just a kind of a height that's measured along the y-axis in this case. And this right here, uh, we don't really know. This is along the z-axis. So this, you'll have to be told some kind of relationship for. So I'm just going to call it the height right now. Um, and then the volume of this slice right here would be y times height times dx. So that's, you know, uh, base times height times width or whatever. Um, the problem is if you say height, like height gets involved a couple different ways maybe because uh, dx in some sense is the height also. Um, but for what we have here, this is good. Um, so how does this relate? Well, um, you can see it drawing this picture again, which, uh, I'm going to jump. Um, so we have this picture, and now what I'm going to do is show you what it kind of looks like just in the XY plane. So we have our function right here, uh, whatever you want to call it. And so these are just kind of the bases, um, as they fall in the XY plane, um, so let's label this up. All of those are delta x or dx. Delta x and dx are going to be the same. Um, and remember, it's the limit as delta x goes to 0. That's what we're going to end up looking at. And then all of those are y values. Um, and then the height is somehow uh, given to you. So maybe you're told that the height is 1 half of the base. But then the question becomes, well, oh, what base? Um, and if you go back over to this xy picture, um, those y values, the heights that we determine there, are actually the bases that they're referring to. Um, so the confusion, I think, leads to uh, comes from the fact that in the xy plane, pretty much everything you look at is a rectangle, which you're used to thinking of as base times height. Um, but that rectangle is kind of like the base of the prism. Not the face of the prism, just the base of the prism. Uh, so it can be a little confusing, but once you get used to it, it's pretty easy. Um, so the volume approximation we would have is just the sum of the volumes of those prisms. Um, so there's a couple of common uh, shapes that you just use for the faces. And they are a square, which I hope you know has an area of side squared. Uh, you got an equilateral triangle, which uh, I hope you know has an area of side squared root 3 over 4. Not everyone does. If you don't remember that, just draw a... Um, equilateral triangle and drop an altitude and you get a 30, 60, 90 triangle and it should work itself out. Uh, and then semicircles, which actually has kind of a surprising formula. So we're going to work that one out. Um, so we're going to build our solid on uh, a base of uh, these two functions. And uh, the cross sections are perpendicular to the x-axis. So that right there is actually the diameter of the semicircle that we're going to build. Um, so let me label those up as f and g, which means the diameter is, in this case, f of x minus g of x, top, take away bottom, uh, to make sure the diameter is positive. Um, so if diameter is f minus g, then the radius, diameter over 2, um, and then area of a circle is pi r squared, which would give us this by uh, squaring that. And then a semicircle is half of a circle. So we end up with uh, pi over 8 and then f minus g squared. And what I've written here is I've written pi over 8 side squared again um, because uh, you can think of all of them in terms of side where side is just top take away bottom which in our picture uh, was f minus g. Um, okay, so in general, um, you know, we're approximating them in the beginning but in general we want to find the actual volume and uh, so we take the limit of... Uh, the sum of the prisms as the the delta x goes to zero, and that eventually becomes this integral, the integral from a to b. 
of the area of a face of a cross section. So you're told it's a rectangular prism, so rectangles are the face. Uh, equilateral um, cross sections with the area of the face is an equilateral triangle and so on. Um, so really the key thing is you just need to really get good at writing the area of the face in terms of uh, any given function. So on the previous page uh, we had to use f of x minus g of x for uh, to relate the functions to the shape we were going to use. Um, and that's really the basic idea. So I hope this is uh, moderately helpful. Good luck.